What's up guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Dustin with Revere Glass. If you've been a longtime subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, I wanna welcome you. And today we have a special treat. We have an interview with Mad Hatter Glassworks, who's a machinist, and he's been making special tools for the glass blowing industry. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you can see all the uploads that we do. We have a whole community online at revereglass.com. And if you're interested in going deeper into glass blowing and learning more and joining a community of like-minded people, people just like you learning glass from all over the world, please go to revereglass.com. Check it out. There's a week free trial right now. Just go ahead and sign up. You can see if you like it and cancel at any time. I wanted to thank Mountain Glass, our sponsor, for being such a great supporter of the glass industry. They ship stuff all over the world. So no matter where you are, you can get quality supplies mailed right to your door. Mountain Glass also plants a tree with every order. It's a green company and their customer service is unmatched in the industry. So thank you, Mountain Glass Arts. I highly recommend them for all of your glass blowing needs. All right, you guys, make sure you comment on this video because we are actually gonna be giving away one of these beautiful manifolds from Mad Hatter Glassworks. So comment, let us know what you think. Let us know where you are in the world, how long you've been blowing glass or what interests you about blowing glass. All right, you guys, let's get into the interview and I'll see you guys at the end. Hey guys, welcome back. If you've been a longtime subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications for new content. I'm Dustin here with Revere Glass, and I'm here with a very special guest, Paul Rogers from Sage Machine and Mad Hatter Glassworks. I invited him on the show today to talk a little bit about how machine shop and glass blowing can kind of work together and to showcase a couple of the products that he's working on for Mad Hatter Glassworks. So welcome to the show, Paul. Thanks, Dustin. Great yeah. to be here. Appreciate the invitation. Of course, of course. So tell me a little bit about yourself. You know, how, how did you discover glass blowing? How did you discover machine working or working with your hands? Uh, my first exposure to glass blowing was back in about 1990 when my mother was taking a, uh, a glass blowing class at uh, the community college down near my house. And I thought it was fascinating to watch them blow. Never had a chance to do it but I spent a lot of time around it. And I really thought it was an interesting process. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the machine work, my, I went to college to get a mechanical engineering degree. Mm -hmm. And I was in that for about 15 years or so, doing product development. And that was the time when I learned how to design products as well as run the machines and machine products. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you said you had some experience with furnace working in the 90s but you're making lamp working tools. So where, how did lamp working come into your life? So uh, when I was raising my kids, I ended up spending a lot of time uh, at home. And it was a fairly new discovery that people actually blew glass at home in garages. And I one of your videos, in fact, a bunch of your videos were some of the inspiration for me to get into glass blowing. Mm -hmm. So you have a machine shop, it's in Reno, Sage Machine. Correct. And you're basically in the machine shop and you're thinking, how can I kind of overlap and line up my lamp working with my machining skill set. And I guess this is maybe the first product that you released or? This is the first product that I released. Uh, I wanted to, I enjoy making tools and mm -hmm. I love to create things. So uh, I saw that uh, I needed to expand my, my glass shop mm -hmm. when I bought a lathe. And so instead of buying one or making one from fittings, I thought, well, it'd be fun to design and build my own manifold. Yeah, so for those of you guys that are new to glass blowing, or maybe don't have a, a complicated torch set up. The reason why this is, is very cool is because it, it doesn't take up a lot of space. And what it allows you to do is have your oxygen and propane line come in here and then it gets divided up. It's basically like a fancy splitter. <clears throat> and on this one, you're gonna be able to have four uh, ports. So you could hook up a hand torch, your bench torch, uh, a Bunsen burner, you know, mini maybe, torch. a mini torch. Exactly. And mm -hmm. so on your bench, you have all of this coming out in a convenient place. And, and that's why I really think that these are great. And I have them under my benches here. And it just makes everything kind of clean the way that you're setting it up. And then you can kind of tuck the hoses in. You can also put two more. You can add another torch off the end of here. So it becomes really a five port. Or you can just use the propane and mm -hmm. run a Bunsen off the one end. Mm -hmm. so, and plug it with a, a brass plug. Yeah. And they come with they come with six plugs to get you started. So that the way that this comes is that you have six plugs 
So that leaves four open spaces and the intakes. And you can get those at any welding shop or you can order them uh, with this for an additional cost. But it's kind of set up initially so that you can have your intake here and then your four uh, fittings that you can hook up a mini torch or a bench burner for. Depending on what you have, you can order uh, B fittings or barbs. And I think you sell Correct. the fittings, right? I do sell the fittings, yeah. right? For those of you guys that are interested, Mad Hatter Glassworks has been generous enough to offer 5% off if you mention that you saw it in the video and just let him know that you're into his products. You can send him uh, a message to uh, madhatterglassworks at gmail.com and uh, just let him know that you saw it in the video. He'll offer you 5% off and uh, if there's any other specials, you're welcome to ask about it as well. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, it'd be great. So can you tell me a little bit about the process of how one of these is made? Is, is this like made out of a couple of pieces of metal or is it one piece of metal? Like, how does this work? I have one of these here first. So all the, the profile is machined first, then we clean up the bottom, add the mounting holes, then all the ports are drilled. So each is an independent circuit all the way across there. Mm -hmm. um, and then it gets tumble polished and anodized laser engraved with our logo and that's essentially it. It's a so because it's one made out of one solid piece of aluminum, there's really very solid as far as like leakage. Like the oh, only there's no there's no place to leak but the fittings. Yeah, the only place it would leak is the fittings and then uh, do you recommend people use um, plumber's tape uh, when they that's the most common use. Yeah, yeah that's how I've, I've installed all of all of my manifolds. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you guys, if you know that it's plumber's thread, I think is another mm -hmm. name. Teflon for tape. Teflon tape. Mm -hmm. uh, you just wrap the fitting around there and screw it in, tighten it up, and that that'll help create that seal. Versus on some of these B fittings, which is an important thing to know. This is an NPT to B fitting, by the way, you guys. So on the NPT side, which has a flat end, that is going to need the Teflon tape but the B fitting is actually a compression fitting. So you don't need any Teflon tape on that side. In fact, it could create a leak. So make sure you're looking carefully at the side and the threads are also a little bit different, but it's important to note that this is NPT to B fitting. That's right. And the B fitting is what's typically found on the end of a standard welding hose. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the, uh, the smaller hand torches will also come included with uh, the B fittings on the end of the hose. So these fit, these fit the most common end fittings that you'll find that's pre-installed on some of the small torch hoses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or in this case, it'd be NPT to barb. So if you don't have a B-fitting brass uh, nut on your torch, you would just put it on here with a hose clamp. Yeah, it's, these are quarter inch bars, which is the standard welding hose, which is the most commonly found in a, in a glass shop. Well, these are really cool and I'm super excited. I, I know I had one in my shop on a station, um, but I'm super excited to put these on the student station and the other lathe, and um, it's gonna clean up the hoses a little bit. So definitely excited about these in my shop. And if you guys are interested, reach out to uh, to Paul. He'll definitely take care of you. And before we go, I wanna kind of quickly touch on kind of some of the um, ingenuity and the thought that, that he's having in his shop. So he, he made this really interesting, um, it's a frit crusher. And I, he's like, Dustin, I made a frit crusher. And I was like, oh, okay, dude probably made a, a cylinder the with clogger. a heavy weight. And yeah. I was like, you know, everybody's made that cool. I mean, I'll, I'll look at it, whatever. But then he brings this thing, which is really interesting. It reminds me of a little bit, I don't know if you guys ever saw that show Gold Rush, where they're like dumping all this rocks and stuff into the hopper. And it kind of reminds me of that. You put your drill on here and you put a rod through this hole, a seven mil rod, and it just kind of breaks it and, and drops it down. You could even put a little, you know, mining cart under here if you wanted to be cute about it. But um, it's it's quite quite ingenious. I hadn't seen this design before. And I think that that in the future, we're gonna see some some other interesting products uh, come out of um, Sage Machine and Mad Hatter Glassworks. Um, I mean, this is just a, an example of something I, I've never seen in the industry. So if you guys also have any ideas, um, feel free to shoot me or Paul a, a message. And if you think something might add some benefit to the workspace, um, yeah, please let me know. Yeah. This is a this is just a prototype that I had. It was a thought I had in my head. I had some uh, some rod ends, a bag full of bag full of shorts. I thought it would be kind of fun to find a way to to recycle those or upcycle them into into frit. Not every color is available all the time, so I thought this would be kind of a clever, interesting, and simple way to, to again use up every penny that you spend on your glass. It's mm -hmm. expensive, as we all know. So. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. 
So didn't you make some um, some rings for to go around the bison chuck for an F lathe? I did, yeah. It was a custom set that I made for a, a fellow back east, and uh, he loved them. So it expands the, the low profile neural yeah. rings, expands it out so you can get your fingers underneath it. We'll see if we can get you guys a picture to overlay yeah. uh, in the video because I saw a picture, it's, it's pretty beautiful. They're anodized blue. And um, I remember when I had a Linton F, uh, that would have come in handy. You know, I would have loved to have a little mm -hmm. bit more leverage around the, the chuck. And you also bored out one of those bison chucks because I think they were 25 mil Correct. And then you board it out to the 33, which the F bore is. Yeah, so for that same customer, uh, yeah, I did. I chased out the, the bore of the chuck mm -hmm. to, so, to allow him to use the, the maximum capacity of the, of the lathe, which isn't, which isn't matched by the chuck. Mm -hmm. So I did bore that out so he could use everything he had, as well as adding the, the rings to make it more convenient and easier to use. I think that, you know, this, all this being said, I think the one thing that's kind of you know, coming to mind for me is that, that Paul could be an amazing resource for the industry. Uh, he's willing to do custom work for people as he made those rings. He's got good ideas that things are coming to market. So if you guys need something custom for your shop, you know, hit him up, you know, yeah. let him know you saw in the video and uh, I'm sure you'll get taken care of. This stuff is very good quality. I can tell just by looking at it and touching it that it was made with care and um, precision. So yeah, I wanna thank you for coming, Paul. Like and um, sharing all this stuff with us. I appreciate the invitation. It's great to be here and meet you. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, hopefully we'll see you soon with some, some new stuff coming out. You better out believe and, it. Uh, I can't wait to plug a couple of these in. Cool. All Me right, too. Man. Thanks, you guys, for watching. We'll see you in the next video. All right. Thank you guys so much for checking that out. It was such a pleasure having Matt Hatter Glass here, talking to him a little bit about what he does, being a machinist, his interest in glass. If you guys are interested in glass, make sure you check out revereglass.com for a community of people just like you interested in blowing glass. There's workshops, project videos, there's classes, and even a forum. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure you comment on this video because we're gonna be giving away this manifold in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Young Shine. I'm here at Revere Glass. We got the Mad Hatter Glassworks Manifold. It helps you separate your gases. And uh, yeah, just uh, excited to get into this video. You know, Young Shy bringing it to you. Make sure you, make sure you fucking smash that thumbs up button. Fucking kick in, stomp out that subscribe, and make sure you hit notifications so you don't miss a single upload. You gotta stay consistent over here. We upload every week. Got uh, workshops on the website, you know, stay connected. We got a whole community on there. Gotta check it out.